there's a theory, I don't know whose theory it is, but that the longer you live, the more parallel lives that you could have lived become something that you live with. And I have a line in the show where I say, all the parallel lives you could have lived play alongside your day-to-day -day existence, causing you to question if you really did choose well or did you choose at all. Age is a Feeling is a solo show, a one-person play that I wrote and that I perform in. And in very broad terms, it's about how our relationship with mortality shapes the way that we live. And then I started thinking, who, who else has a very different relationship with death than I do? And I, and I spent a huge amount of time in a Reddit for soldiers and veterans trying to learn about how they square the idea that um, at any moment they could die when they're in combat. I think I would hate everything that everybody said at my funeral. I feel like they didn't understand me. Even the nice things, I'd be like, but you didn't really get it. I feel this way about reviews of my work. I don't read reviews because even the positive ones, I feel slightly misunderstood. But I think it's also, that's kind of what the show is about. Like, how can you, how can you, in a couple sentences from your own vantage point, ever capture everything that a person was? How can you capture the essence of a person? I don't know. And thinking about all the people who existed so that I could exist, whose names I will never know, whose, you know, the story, whose arc of their life I'll, I'll never know, and trying to imagine this yeah, this kind of like chorus of people lining up behind me. Um, I, th I know that there are a lot of people who would find that a little bit out there, but I, I um, found it quite useful and quite powerful, particularly for this show. And there's a line at the end of the show where, I'll, where I say, for a while you're remembered and then you're not. So happy birthday. <laughs>